In this week's update, we will have a look at the building site of our compost toilet, a walkthrough in the greenhouse and the process of the plants there. And also we did some minor improvements in the guest rooms. Finally, the good weather settled in and we are starting to harvest more and more of our crops. First, we started scouting out a good place where to put our compost toilet. There are many factors that you have to take into consideration, not just the sun and the possible smell of the toilet, as well that it is not in sight, so that people can use it quietly. After finding such a spot, we got started. This time, I'm not going to explain too much and let you enjoy the building process. In the short lifespan of our greenhouse, it already has seen a lot of uses that we put it through, from hosting our seedlings to become one of the most productive tomato fields that we have. Although we have minor problems with some of the crops, in general this was one of the total successes that we could celebrate this year. Until the point in time where this video gets released, we nearly harvested 40 kilograms of tomatoes, 25 kilograms grams of cucumbers and two kilograms of peppers.
As we're nearly done with the first compost toilet, we're starting on building the second one. Here you can see us preparing the beams for the substructure. As we had some old and worm infested wood beams laying around, we wanted to reuse or use them as smaller beams, so we planed them to the right thickness and started cutting them open. These will be our corner posts for the new or second compost toilet. And lastly, we improved the bigger guest room with a proper bed, as most of the guests had to sleep on the floor for now. If you're wondering why this bed looks so crooked, it is because it has been built up and teared down at least seven times over the years it moved with me from one flat to another. Hopefully this is the last time we will be reassembling this bed 